special summer, I guess school coming to a close, summer is here, so lots of kids are trying to make some summer plans here, trying to maybe, maybe even some will get a job, how about that? And some, well, they're off on a great adventure, like four local kids that we're going to talk to right now. We take a look at the pen, and lots of people out here, lots of plans to be made, and let's come down to Age of Mentic with a story of four guys making a heck of a trip, Ange. Yes, Brad, forget backpacking through Europe. These guys are living the dream. They are going to be hitting every single major league ballpark. Kendall, how do you come up with this idea? Uh, well, we're huge Mariner fans. We love the game of baseball. We love coming out to Safeco Field. And you know, we just love the atmosphere of it. And so we're trying to go across the country and experience every other ballpark in the atmosphere and compare it to Safeco. All right, now they're going to be doing this in a van, sleeping in the van, probably having a lot of their meals in the van. Helen, uh, um, how do you pay for this, and, and what kind of route are you guys taking? So our route's a little funky. We start off, we go all the way down to L.A. for the Dodgers, Angels, and then San Diego for the Padres. Go into Arizona, cut up to Denver for the Rockies. Then we see the, all the Midwest teams. We go up to the Northeast, and then all the East Coast teams down to Florida, through Texas, back up to Northern California, and then home. So it's a lot of driving, probably about 15,000 miles. It's going to take us 55 days, about seven and a half weeks, and the funding has come from a wide range of sources. We um, have some big sponsors, especially Root and Artflix.com, and then a bunch of little sponsors, personal donations, it all helps out, and we've raised about $20,000. Oh my goodness gracious, and if anybody wants to donate, they can go to Ballpark Boys. Travis, if there's any money left over, you guys have a place for that to go. Yes, our goal is to raise a lot of excess money for that we don't need for the trip, and we've uh, been a big fan of Edgar Martinez for all of our lives, and uh, all the excess money we raise is going to go towards the Edgar Martinez Foundation. We've been in contact with Edgar and Holly, and uh, the Martinez Foundation goes to support scholarships and give opportunities to teachers of color around Washington State, and we hope to donate all the money that we have left over from the trip. All right, and uh, last but not least, Jack, you guys are going to touch them all, so to speak, with all these ballparks, but what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, well, there are a wide variety of stadiums, cultures, and we really hope to capture the vintage Americana. And um, basically, I think what we're looking forward to most is uh, Fenway on July 4th. We're going to be in Boston, and uh, we're also going to be going to Cooperstown during the All-Star break. So. Hopefully we can gun for Edgar while we're there, as well as visit uh, Dave Niehaus. So, yeah. Very cool, very cool. Uh, I, I, like I said, you guys are, are living out my dream. Congratulations to all of you. And if you want to follow the Ballpark Boys, you can log on to RootSports.com, Brad? All right, Angie, thank you very much. Sounds like a great trip. Certainly a lot better thing, uh, thing to do than I ever did in my uh, summer there between school. So congrats to them. Good luck. And I think Safeco Field is going to be the, the last stop there on that tour. So it should be a lot of fun. We'll have some updates, hope, hopefully, throughout that uh, ballpark boys, their tour of the ballparks. Miguel, we have a homer in the last two games.